pH probe has been perfectly calibrated because it has detected the pH 7 buffer solution with high level of accuracy. Now we are going to measure pH value of these different liquids. Recently I got the gravity analog pH sensor kit V2 from the DF robot and let me tell you this is the upgraded version of the pH meter V1 that we could only use with 5 volt compatible controller boards like Arduino, Raspberry Pi and other 5 volt compatible controller boards. Whereas the pH meter V2 is compatible with both 5 volt and 3.3 volt compatible controller boards like ESP32, Raspberry Pi Pico, STM32, ESP8266 etc. Inside this box you get a product qualification card. A paper that gives you an introduction, technical details and safety tips about pH sensor. A pH prop with a BNC connector. Detection range is 0 to 14. Temperature range is 5 to 60 degrees Celsius. Response time is less than 2 minutes. Internal resistance is less than 250 mega ohms. Probe life is greater than 0.5 years depending on the frequency of use and cable length is 100 cm. This is the pH sensor interface board or the signal conversion board. It must be kept dry and clean otherwise it will affect the input impedance resulting in an inaccurate measurement. Supply voltage is 3.3 to 5.5 volts. Output voltage is 0 to 3 volts. Prop connector is BNC. Signal connector is pH 2.0 3P. Measurement accuracy is plus minus 0 0.1825 degrees Celsius. Some wires and screws. And standard buffer solutions 4.0 and 7.0. You can only measure the pH value of water or any other liquid accurately if your pH prop is correctly calibrated. This is only possible when you use buffer solutions to calibrate the pH prop. Without these buffer solutions, you can never properly calibrate the pH prop. So that's why I ordered this complete kit. But you can also purchase buffer solutions without purchasing the entire kit. Anyway, you will also need an Arduino board and an I2C supported SSD 1306 or LED display module. Connect the red and brown wires which are labeled as plus and minus on the interface board to the Arduino 5 volt and ground. Connect the yellow wire which is labeled as A on the signal conversion or interface board to the Arduino analog pin A1. Connect the VCC and ground pins of the SSD 1306 or LED display module to the Arduino 3.3 volt and ground pins. Connect the SDA and SCL pins to the Arduino I2C pins A4 and A5. A4 is the SDA and A5 is the SCL. You can follow this circuit diagram. Our hardware setup is completed so let's calibrate the pH sensor. For this, first connect the Arduino to your laptop or PC. Then upload this program. You can download it from our website electronicclinic.com. Dip the pH probe in the pH 7 buffer solution. Open the serial monitor and wait for at least 2 to 5 minutes until the pH value gets stable. Right now you can see the pH prop has successfully detected the pH 7 solution. This is because I have already calibrated it. If you get a wrong value, simply adjust the calibration value in the program until the pH prop reading matches the buffer solution. This process should take around 5 minutes. When you use buffer solutions, you need to clean the prop with water each time. Make sure there isn't any pH 7 solution on the prop when you dip it into the pH 4 solution and vice versa. Anyway, after this, when you dip the pH prop into the pH 4 solution, it will automatically detect it. You can see it's getting close to the pH 4 value, which means we have successfully calibrated the pH prop. As per the manufacturer, the pH sensor response time is around 2 minutes, so don't panic if you see wrong values at first. Give the pH sensor some time to stabilize. Let's dip it again in the pH 7 solution and let's see if it can still successfully detect the pH 7 buffer solution. Amazing! It successfully detected the pH 7 buffer solution. Now let's go ahead and check the pH values of different liquids.
Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you like today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode. And thanks for watching.